In today's video, we're gonna take you through everything you need to know about the Generation 3 Tesla wall connector. Let's get into the presentation. So here's what we're gonna cover. The key features, including charge rates, app integration, and charge from solar. The pros and cons compared to other EV chargers. Installation, where you can mount Tesla wall connector and who can install it. The cost, of a supply of a wall connector and the installation costs of a Tesla wall connector in Australia. The combat compatibility and use with Tesla vehicles and non-Tesla vehicles. The service and warranty of both residential and commercial wall connector installations. So for, for more information, follow us on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook for exclusive content at Penrith Solar Center and share this lesson and let's make the switch to a sustainable energy future together. A pro tip, listen to this at 1.5 speed to save yourself some time. And of course, watch till the end and we've got a nice free gift for you. Let's get started. The wall connector key features. The Tesla wall connector key features. Charge rates. Wall connector can provide up to 11 kilowatts of power delivery, providing up to 75 kilometers of range per hour of charge. This is for three phase sites. For other electric vehicles, refer to your vehicle's manufacturer's guide to determine your charging speed, and this will vary between models and makes. This is straight from Tesla's website, and this gives you a breakdown of the maximum power output of this charger for a three-phase site, uh, which is outputting at 16 amps. On a single-phase site, that power output is 7.4 kilowatts. On a single-phase 16 amp site, 3.5, single phase 10 amp, 2.3. Some additional key features, the app integration. Tesla allows you to monitor and control your charging remotely from the Tesla app, including scheduling, preconditioning your car and charge settings. And what I love about the Tesla app is that it, if you have Powerwall, it integrates seamlessly with your vehicle all in one dashboard, all in one place. So you can swipe between your home and your vehicle, view your vehicle charging, view your home's solar, what it's producing, what your home is consuming, and you can see the entire ecosystem in one place. The adaptability. Wall connector is compatible with single phase and three phase homes in Australia. This versatility allows installation in most homes, apartments, and workplaces. So it's very much a no-brainer option for anyone who has a Tesla vehicle to have the Tesla wall connector because of this adaptability to any home, uh, workplace or, or apartment or style of switchboard, single phase or three phase, but also integrating the car home, as I said earlier as well. And we've also got charge from excess solar with Powerwall and Gateway 2. This is hands down my favorite feature. This feature allows you to self-consume your excess solar power. Your vehicle may delay the start of charging until there is at least 1.2 kilowatts of stable excess solar to maximize efficiency in the lifetime of your charging equipment. So basically this means once your you know, battery is full, once your home doesn't need any more power, you have more than 1.2 kilowatts of excess, it will now get diverted if charge from solar is activated to your car and you do not have to lift a finger. So what you have to keep in mind is that if you have previously lowered your charge rate output to say five amps, 10 amps, and you've got 10 kilowatts of excess solar available, your car will still work to that limit that you've set in your charge rate. So. What I do personally to get around this feature is when I am charging from solar, uh, I will increase my charge rate to the maximum output of 16 amps. And this just means that no matter what my solar is doing, I'm gonna deliver the maximum amount of power above 1.2 kilowatts to my car at all times. So what, what is important to know that if you enable charge from solar before your power wall is fully charged, then your your app will actually prioritize the car above charging the power wall. Now, there may be future software updates where this is, um, you're given more of a choice to be able to prioritize where you want the energy to go. But one way I have got around this in the past, if I do want to set and forget it, is to just lower the charge rate on 
my car to say five or six amps if I know I'm gonna be plugged in all day. And that way I know that the car's only gonna get five, up to five amps of excess solar at any one time, which is around six or so, uh, four, four to five kilowatts. And that'll give some excess for my Powerwall to be able to charge throughout the day. But if the Powerwall's charged and my car is still set to five amps of charge rate and I've got a lot of excess later in the day, it's not gonna ramp up and charge at a faster rate. So that's something to be mindful of. The pros and cons of the Tesla wall connector. Pros is that it's a cost-effective option compared to other third-party chargers like Zappi and Wallbox. They are more expensive options for vehicle, electric vehicle charging. Another pro is that the integration with the Tesla app is absolutely seamless for control and the user experience. Like I said, you can control your charge rates, control the scheduling of your charging. If you want to top up your car early in the morning, you want to get it right to 100% um, before you leave in the morning, or if you want to take advantage of off-peak charging, you can do all this from within the app. Um, you can also precondition your car for the morning as well. The cons uh, to the wall connector is that it has limited functionality with non-Tesla vehicles, requiring adapters for certain makes and models, and limited functionality without Wi-Fi. Firmware monitoring and integrations with Powerwall require Wi-Fi connection on site. Uh, this is a common requirement for most EV chargers. It's not a, a Tesla only thing, just to be clear. But particularly with that charge from solar feature, that does require stable access to Wi-Fi on site for Powerwall and the wall connector. Installation. Mounting options. Wall connector's seamless and weatherproof design allows for both indoor and outdoor installation. Installation is required by a licensed electrician. This is not a DIY product. New breakers need to be installed to suit your home and switchboard. So this can't be retrofitted by anyone who's not a licensed electrician here in Australia. The cost of the Tesla wall connector. The supply cost of Tesla wall connector from Penrith Solar Center is $750. The installation cost at Penrith Solar Center is uh, about $800 for a single phase site and $1,200 for a three phase site. All pricing is in AUD or Australian dollars and is relevant at September, 2024. Compatibility and use. Tesla vehicles. The wall connector is compatible with all Tesla models. It's ideal for Tesla owners who want to who want a dedicated and reliable home charging solution. For non-Tesla vehicles, it can also charge non-Tesla EVs equipped with a Type 2 plug, but the charging speed and integration features are limited compared to Tesla vehicles. For homes with multiple EVs, the wall connector still provides a versatile option. So that's what I love about it. It's still possible to adapt this to as I said, different EVs, EV motorcycles and so forth that are compatible with a Type 2 plug. But like I said, the, the features like charge from solar are only exclusive to Tesla vehicles and even Powerwall as well. The charge from solar feature won't work on its own with just the vehicle charger. You must have Gateway 2 and basically Powerwall as well, Powerwall 2 or Powerwall 3. Service and warranty. Residential use, the warranty for normal residential use covers your wall connector for a period of 48 months from the date of invoice. And for commercial use, the warranty for normal commercial use covers your wall connector for a period of 12 months from the date of invoice. So in summary, the key features of the wall connector, the charge rate of up to 11 kilowatts of three, on a three phase site, and the Tesla app integrates your home, car, and EV charging all in one place. The pros and cons, it's a cost effective electric vehicle charger compared to other third party chargers. 
It doesn't have the same functionality for non-Tesla vehicles. Installation is totally fine for internal or external use. The cost is 700 AUD supplied. Installation by Penrith Solar Center ranges between 12 and $1,500. Compatibility in use with Tesla vehicles and non-Tesla vehicles, and the service and warranty 48 months residentially, 12 months commercially. It's 15 million kilometers from the sun to your home, so don't let it go to waste. This is a philosophy we live and breathe here at Penrith Solar Center, and which is why we are so motivated to help our customers electrify their homes and lifestyles with both solar and battery products. So here's your free gift. It is our solar buyer's guide. Just go to penrithsolarcenter.com.au slash resources slash solar buyer's guide to download your free copy. You won't need any emails. You won't have to give away any details. It's yours forever. So I hope this information has helped you guide you through the Tesla wall connector if it's a right option for you and your vehicle and your home. If you have any questions at all guys, please check out our learning center. Download your free buyer's guide for a whole heap of information around solar and battery technology. And any questions guys, please let us know. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.